Hey, I'm Britta. I love to grow, cook, and eat nourishing foods. I also own an online wine shop dedicated to sustainably grown low intervention wines. And one of the questions that I get asked the most from my customers is how do I pair my wines with my foods? Now this is one of my favorite topics to discuss with my customers because it's so creative. There's so much flavor involved when it comes to food and when it comes to wine. And once you learn some of the basics to the backbone of a food and wine pairing, it's so much fun. When I first started getting into wine, I did not like the idea of food and wine pairing. The only thing I ever heard was that white wine goes with chicken and red wine goes with steak. And it sounded like a bunch of rigid rules and I wasn't interested. It wasn't until I started learning some of the basics to the backbone of a really good food and wine pairing that I realized how creative it can actually be. If you know me, you know I love vegetables. I love growing them, cooking them, eating them, and finding really fun wine pairings to go with different vegetable dishes. So today I thought we'd go through a few different food and wine pairing basics and also show you some of my favorite wine and vegetable dish pairings. The first component I like to think about when I'm putting together food and wine pairings is acidity. For the most part, you want your wine to be more acidic than your food. You can think about adding acid to food as you would with a lemon. A lot of food tastes so much better with just a little bit of squeeze of lemon on top before serving. So similarly, you can add acid to a meal with wine. I especially like to think about acid when I'm pairing foods that are rich or unctuous and fried because they love being paired with acidic wines. It just kind of cuts through that richness. How do you know how acidic your wine is? Some wines are inherently more acidic than other wines. Wines such as sparkling and whites are going to be typically more acidic than your red wines. And within your red wines, lighter red wines like Pinot Noir and Gamay are typically going to be more acidic than fuller bodied red wines. Now this is a generalization and not a rule. So use that as a guideline. If you're still not sure how acidic your wine is, I encourage you to go to a local wine shop, ask the staff, talk to them about the acidity in the wine. The next thing I want to talk about is body. So the body of your wine should match the flavor intensity of whatever food you're pairing it with. For example, if you have a crisp light salad with raw vegetables, you're going to want a light crisp white wine to pair with it. If you're making like an herby wintry stew, you're going to need something a little bit fuller bodied to match that bigger flavor intensity. You don't want either the food or the wine to overpower the other one. You want them to each shine on their own, but also uplift each other and not fight for any attention. The last thing I want to talk about before we jump into some really yummy food and wine pairings is preparation. I like to focus on the preparation of a food rather than just the ingredients. Let's take this kale for example. If I were to chop this up and put it in a salad, it's going to taste a little bit different than if I were to saute it up with some oil and garlic and spices. By doing this, I'm adding flavor and adding weight and body to the dish. I'm going to keep all of these factors in mind when I go to pair these dishes with wines. So focusing on the preparation rather than just the ingredients is really going to help take you to the next level of your wine pairings. Okay, now for the fun part. I made a fresh salad with this pink radicchio. All of the flavors here are really fresh and crisp and light. I was totally inspired by the pink here, so I paired it with a zesty and light rosé, but you could totally do a Sauvignon Blanc, an Albarino, or even a Vino Verde here. Mushrooms and Pinot Noir are a match made in wine pairing heaven. The earthiness in this pinot complements the mushrooms beautifully, but it's still lifted and bright enough to not drown out the light cheese and the pesto that we stuffed our mushrooms with. Okay, can we just admire this color for a second? Stewed lentils are the perfect example of a vegetable dish that can stand up to some fuller bodied red wines. This Graciano is pretty meaty, but it still has a beautiful level of acidity. Since there are tomatoes in here and tomatoes are naturally pretty acidic, I wanted to make sure that I had a wine that was acidic enough to not get totally drowned out by the tomatoes. Chicken and steak aren't the only ones that get to have fun. I hope
hope you keep these tips in mind as a guideline rather than a rigid set of rules. Food and wine is supposed to be fun. There's no right or wrong wine pairings. The only time you're ever doing wine wrong is when it stops being fun. So cook some veggies, drink some wine, enjoy it, have so much fun.